Hi, my name is Mark Hoffman, Small Fruits Extension Specialist at NC State University. This is the last video in our series on plastic culture. We talked about the specifics and the important things to consider if you are starting with plastic culture. And this video is about the cycle we have here in North Carolina uh, in annual hill plastic culture systems in strawberry. So I want to talk today about the seven stages of strawberry annual hill plastic culture. And please keep in mind that what I'm showing here is very specific for North Carolina and um, maybe for South Carolina and for a spring production system. Production system. So we have seven stages, and I want, want to, when we usually start in June with your, our land preparation. So stage number one is in June, and that's the land preparation. And we talked about this in an earlier video, which means you're going to have to take your soil samples, and you're going to have to incorporate lime if you, if you need to, and you have to prepare your land for bed shaping later on. The second stage is July and August, which is the pre-planned stage. In the pre-planned stage, you actually apply your fumigants and lay your plastic and lay your trip tape. So you have to have your soil ready in July or most, most of the time it is in August to develop your beds and to lay your plastic. The third stage is transplanting. Which means that is when you plant your plants. And uh, that would be in uh, September, in late September. And then the fourth stage is the post-transplant stage. Um, that would be post-transplant. That would be October, November in this year. That is when you already have to start uh, applying. Uh, do some pest and disease control. You probably want to increase the growing degree days. Um, growing degree days, um, depending on the weather, and we're going to have, a, have an extra video on this stage. Um, the fifth stage would be the uh, dormant stage, dormancy. That's in winter, and it's usually like December and January, sometimes all the way to mid-February. That can be a very tricky stage since we, it depends a little bit on the variety. With early varieties, if you get a warm winter, they often show flowers very early on. We usually recommend to pinch those flowers. Um, in the dormancy stage, you also want to protect from cold weather. You want to protect, uh, you want to do some winter protection. And the sixth stage would be the uh, pre-harvest stage that, again, is February till April. Over this stage, it is very important to do cold or frost protection, frost and freeze protection, and pest and pathogen control are the most, the biggest concerns here. That is a very, very busy stage, February to April, before you harvest. It depends on the weather a lot, but that's a very busy, very work-intensive stage, uh, is stage number six. And then the seventh stage is, of course, harvest, which then usually starts in April and goes all the way to June. During harvest, if you have early varieties, please count on at least go twice a week into the field to harvest. So I would add an eight step to this, 
which is crop termination. Crop termination, which would usually happen in June. And uh, that would include spraying your plants with, with the herbicide, taking them out, leveling the field, taking out the plastic. So that would be a different, that would be the last step of your uh, growing cycle. Uh, our estimated costs right now for this whole cycle are running between um, 14 and 15 thousand dollars per acre. That includes pesticides and labor. So that's it on our plastic culture uh, video series. Please let me know in the comments below if you liked it, what you do not like about it, if you want to have more information. And please visit us under strawberries.ces.ncsu.edu. And until then, I hope you stay happy, kind and healthy.